Welcome everybody out there in the interwebs to episode 660, 60, sorry as I stutter, of Sis and Big Pops Culture. As always, I'm Todd Turner, Big Pops, Mosaic Fan Art. Hi, sweet friends. I am Sis, aka Hannah Joe, and together we're an adult daughter and father duo. We dive in to all things geek, nerd, and fandom. Every episode is family friendly. That's good music. Thank you, Brock. It is. It's good Yes, music. we are family friendly. That's right. And um, when I went dear, 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 the the auto captions <laughs> called it something else. Blah, blah, anyway. Blah. What were you going to say, Hannah? Tell us what we do. I was going to tell us what, yeah, I was going to say what we do. So today, friends, what we are going to do, we, as always, are going to talk about some nerd news. Uh, we, we can't figure and count and talk about everything, so we're going to chat about what we think is fun and interesting, so we're going to do that, and then we are going to review what we have been watching in our own lives, if we've been binging anything, what that is, and um, Pops is going to share his pool list with us. If you don't know what that is, don't stress about it. I will explain it to you later, Gator. And um, we are reviewing two movies today. We are reviewing Predator and then the newest <laughs> movie in the like series. Predator franchise. I called it series, but you're right. It's, fran- it's franchise. Uh, Prey. Yeah. Predator and Prey. Predator and Prey. There you go. Tally ho. Well, first off, we usually start off with a little bit of... Nerd news. That's right, people. We get you up to date on everything that you need to know. Well, I don't even, I don't know if you need to know it or not. All the things that we think (laughs) is cool enough that you should know. Exactly. Number one. More appropriate. The queen died. The queen died. I know. And I'm not talking like, you know, the band, but he died a long time ago. Yeah. But yeah, the queen. I saw somebody was like, now it's King... King Charles. King Charles the Third. Although everyone out there in wrestling land knows that Jerry the King Waller is the only true king. Well, well, that's not true. We have had it's our first king and for our first king. LOL. I live in America. It is England. What about Elvis? Well, thank you very it much. It is England's first king in seventy years. Yeah, I know. They haven't had a king in seventy. It's man. That's crazy. It almost like everybody's like, oh, and I'm like, she was. Oh, she lived such a long, what a long and beautiful life. And what a, I mean, when she was queen, it was when she became queen, it was during World War II. Was it? Winston Churchill was her first prime minister. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I watched part of The Crown, so I know some of this stuff. Maybe it wasn't. That has nothing World to do with. II. Maybe it was after. Has nothing to do with. It history class it had everything so, to do with the netflix special the crown though that netflix, I bet you, that that tv show bops i bet you they get a huge hit in I, ratings yeah. that everybody's gonna start watching the crown again so anyway yeah. yeah what what about you hannah joe um okay so september 3rd was national cinema day well didn't know anything about it and all movies at all regal theaters were three dollars I heard Regals declaring bankruptcy. I heard that too. And I'm really like, I don't know. I like. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, g- is that going to affect your Regal deal? Well, Trevin and I were talking about it and I was like, that might mean that we have to go to the movie theater in Gallatin. Well, I <laughs> sometimes when, when they, when businesses declare bankruptcy, they do it to restructure and the yeah, business get continues. Yeah, get money and start, keep going. I don't know what it is with Regal, but. I mean, they took a big hit when everything was closed I think with COVID. So many people did. Yeah, like it's amazing. Uh, family video. There are no more family videos anymore. Well, but n- nobody rents movies anyway. Hannah Turner, mm-hmm. me. Well, I, I rent I gotcha. movies. Yeah, but now almost everybody can rent them on the interwebs. I know, but why spend three ninety nine for two days when you can spend fifty cents to a dollar for? Five days to a week. And that's why they went out of business. I'm just saying. I know. 
plus get pizza. I loved that place. Yeah, they always are next to a pizza. Were. Yeah, they're they're We're closed. Speaking of things closing, mm. going down. Do- I'm wait, not. I'm what? not done telling you about Cinema Day. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, Cinema Day. Okay, what so was Cinema, Cinema Day, Day, it was it was three dollars for any movie, and so even that was like IMAX. So if you went to go see an IMAX movie, it was three dollars for any ticket at the movie theater. Oh wow! And so Trevin tried to get us IMAX tickets to go see um, blah, 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 Top Gun Maverick, but we mm-hmm. but they were sold out. So we couldn't go see that. So instead, they did a re-showing. They re-released Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Homecoming. You saw it in IMAX? We saw it. We did not see it in IMAX because they were doing Top Gun yeah, in IMAX. Gotcha. And there's only gotcha. one IMAX theater where but we But you go. saw Spider-Man. But we saw Spider-Man. It was re-released, and they had extra stuff in it. Oh, really? There was extra stuff in it. Because we were well, sitting there. We were sitting there next to each other watching it, and we're like, was this in the movie originally? And we do not. Oh, there he is! Ahoy, hoy, Trevin. Um, and we don't think we don't think that the stuff like there was. Think back with me to December. Are you with me? Thinking back to December, I'm there. dear Papa. Mm-hmm. I saw it in Vegas. He climbed. Did he climb up the side of a gym in front I don't of his remember. class? Okay, so he climbed up the side of a gym in his class, and then that girl who dates Ned, who they broke like, up. Yeah, but they broke up. Um, she mm-hmm. has like a talk show and she interviews people. Yeah, so that that was in the thing. I was thought. it in the thing? But I don't know. I knew that's what they did. They had like a little radio show. Her and there was another guy. No, but, but it was her, like her, like having like a Drew Barrymore Ellen style talk oh, show. Gosh. No, I don't remember that. Okay, yeah, I don't remember so that. There was extra stuff in it. I mean, that's been a while. I think that there was extra stuff in it. Okay, there might not. Isn't have been. it amazing that they've not released? Has that been released yet? It hasn't, has it? Mm-mm. Well, but, they're back on the top charts again for releasing. I know it was the number one movie of the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Why would they release that? That's it's crazy. DVD yet. I know. DVD. Okay. Direct streaming. And everything's now out in the web. I know. Oh, I... DVDs. But when the, I know. I want it on VHS. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even so, have a VHS player that works. Because I bought yes, you I those. Do. I bought, well, have you watched those Star Wars VHSs that I bought mm-hmm. you at that yard sale? No, but I do have a VHS. It's a VHS DVD combo. My friend John got it for me. Okay, well, I got well, it for Nathan. You have it's at the house. You have mm-hmm. the original Star Wars has not I know, been changed. Up the hasn't been um, George Lucified. Oh, Trevin yeah. said that there were indeed extras. There were twenty minutes worth of them. Awesome, good yes. deal. Well, Call it on Tuesday. Awesome. Okay, I'm sorry. I want everybody to know that uh, DC fandom is kaput. They stopped the it. Vir- the virtual DC. Um, it's sort of like a, you know, their own online comic convention type deal. I, I remember because a couple, one year they promoted a piece of my art. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, it was the um, the Batman piece. Um, but they have canceled. No longer will they be doing an online thing. They probably didn't get enough stuff. Well, I think they're saying now we're going to try to go to cons again. They were stopping it because of COVID and all that kind of stuff. But the issue is, is that Discovery now owns this, and I think they're just waiting. They're going to piecemeal and sell off the the publishing. I, of know. DC, really? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh-huh. It's got to be got to make some monies. So, um, yeah. The trailer for the new Knives Out movie, Last Onion, I saw came it. Out. It doesn't look f- as funny as I was hoping it would. It seemed very. I don't know. I don't know. I guess the, the, the way they showed it, except for the fact with uh, Dave Bautista wearing a Speedo, shooting off a gun. Yeah, and shooting a gun. It, and sticking it back into his Speedo. That's got to burn. Yes. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. It would be really I mean, warm, it? doesn't show it? him doing it, but I mean, it shows him getting ready to put it back in there. Um, Kate Hudson had a big part in the trailer. Um, Janelle Monae. Um, um, but I did see her. She's name. a singer. Yeah. Uh, Ed Norton. So, uh, I did uh, see d- 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 the, the, the guy, my words today. <sighs> well, it looks like it's going to be a puzzle, like based on puzzles or the something guy like that. Who, okay. So the, the guy who's not Lynn Manuel Miranda, but who plays the guy, Aaron Burr. Leslie Oldham Jr. He's in it. Yes. I'm sorry. Okay. I did see that. Okay. I meant to say that. Yeah. Oof. Odom Jr. Not Oldham. I Odom just, oof, his name just left my yeah. body. Mm-hmm. It was That's gone. Hilarious. So, do you know what this weekend is? 
No, sir. D23. <gasps> really? Disney Apparently. Expo? So the rumor is that they're going to announce who they've cast as Sue Storm in the fan. I saw I saw something movie. about that. This that there was rumors about this one girl being uh, Jodie Comer. Yes, the girl from Free Guy. She was good and, in Free Guy, and she was also in like um, the Last Duel, that movie that with like Brad Pitt and. But you know yeah, I mean? and then he was How he was, was like it? mad about that it didn't it do well. It, it was uh, the Martian. What's his name? Damon. Matt Damon. Yeah, Matt Damon. We are really exactly. good with names today, Dad. That's terrible. We're and killing so it with the actor names. They're also saying that, see if you know who this guy is, because I don't okay. know. He was in Gossip Girl, which, did you watch Gossip Girl? Are you kidding me? Dad, so I, I, I did. Okay, I did ben, a Blair Waldorf ben Gossip Badgley. Girl photo shoot. His name's Penn Badgley? Oh, the guy who's the, the main guy in You. Have you seen that? No, but there's rumors that he's going to be Reed Richards. He would be a good Reed He would I've be seen good. people who say... I've heard people say that they think he'd be terrible. Some people think he'd be great. Pin Bradley. But, I'm just making sure. It's yeah, I mean, he's got the, he's badly, got the look. Badly. Yeah, he's got the look. The only reason I say that is because I'm like, See? I'm like, you know, the huge Fantastic the Four fan. The curly. He's got, um, he's got the vibe. Gotcha. The guy who was going to do it had to back out. So now it's the guy who did WandaVision is going to be the one directing WandaVision, what WandaVision. Okay, that's, you know what? If somebody's already, I don't know. I hope it's good. I hope for your sake, my dear father, who loves this sweet, sweet franchise franchise so much. So much. And the comics. I hope that it is the best. I hope it's better than Incredibles. That's what I hope for you. Well, Incredibles is pretty darn good. It's the best Fantastic Four movie ever made. So there you go. If anybody wants. Okay, Fantastic Four. What else you got? Um, okay. Uh, the Wednesday trailer came out. I talked about like the Wednesday. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, I thought that it looked really fun. I didn't see it. I didn't watch it. It looks, it looks really fun. They sent her to boarding school cause she keeps getting kicked out of schools because she's Wednesday. Adams. Oh, but that's a bummer. I don't want well, to send her sent to boarding school. They sent school. her to the boarding school that Morticia went to where her, she and Gomez met. Oh, okay. Well now that so, might be fun. So, and it's, so it's yeah. like, Yeah. It's Adam. I know it's Tim Burton, right? Yeah, it feels it feels very much like Adam's Family Values, where she goes to summer camp. Oh, gotcha. Like it feels like Scout cookies have real Girl Scouts. (laughs) That was the first one. That's the second one, wasn't it? It was the second one. It was the second one. It's good. Um, This is this just breaks my heart because we don't have Paramount Plus. I'm just, if we had if we had Walmart Plus, we would oh, stop it. Like I said, <laughs> you guys, you kids need to band together and buy Paramount Plus. Um, Picard season three, season three has everyone in it. The original, the whole entire gang from Next Generation. They're Beverly Guinan, yes. Data. I don't know about Guinan, but um, all of them, you know, all the whole bridge crew is there. Is Wesley yeah. going to be there? Oh, I don't know. I didn't see Wesley. <laughs> Probably not. Up, <laughs> well, see, Wesley <laughs> went off with the traveler. Be there. He did. He, he did he went go out with, with the, traveler. the traveler. So maybe so he'll like, like a, visit in like one episode, and that'll I be hope it. So that would I be like. I liked. I didn't get why everybody hated that kid so much. I loved it. So I mean, I, I can understand. I guess you know, it it was new. And why is there a punk kid on the, you know, on the? He wasn't a punk the, either. He was really smart. Maybe that's smart. why everybody liked, that's disliked why him, because he was him. too smart. I liked him. I thought the character was good. Yeah, so there you go. I don't remember his, the actor's name now. I, I, could, I could tell you. What is the deal? We forget everybody's We names. are awful at this. I know. It's terrible. Um, we're we're okay. great podcasters. So. What? We are going to watch a movie on Screen X on Friday. What? Do you know what Screen X is? No, I don't know what that is. Screen X is like IMAX on like, okay, like times a million. Gotcha. What movie are you seeing? Guess. I don't know what's out. Top so. Gun Maverick. Oh, good. So we are, Trevin texted me today and was like, do you want to go to a movie theater and throw up? I was like, what? And Listen, your mom couldn't do it. I, I'm like, I'm, I'm really excited. I think it will be really cool because it, it's, I think, 270 degrees. Of screens. Oh, that would be a lot. Is what Trevin said. So I don't know. What I'm really excited about it. 
Okay. Yeah, 270 degree screens. So I nice. I have no idea. Wow. Would you do so a movie? Screen X? No, I couldn't. You couldn't mm-hmm. do it. Have no, you been? Uh-uh. Have you seen like a movie in IMAX? I have seen. I saw um, Avengers. We did. Avengers we watched movie. Avengers, but we sat really close to the screen. Yeah, I've seen in other movies in IMAX, and it's just almost too much for me. So, you know, I don't know. I'd rather just watch it on my phone. <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> I'm completely lying. I know you're. Well, <laughs> I, a, I had never seen a movie in good. IMAX before we saw Top Gun, Top Gun okay. Maverick. And so mm-hmm. I, and I couldn't tell. Like, it's not that I couldn't tell. Like, clearly it was excellent. Like, the picture was excellent, and it's it was clearly <clears throat> bigger than other things, but it didn't feel like, oh, this is scary, or this is hard gotcha. to, like, does that make sense? Yeah. I like, gotcha. I wasn't uncomfortable. We will see it's with the 270-degree screen. It's yeah, almost, I gotcha. it's uh, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. 95 degrees? <laughs> I don't know. From being 360? Three sti- 90. Do you want me to do the math? 90. Yeah, let's do the math. <laughs> it's 90. Go. We're do having a math. hard time today. So, what, you got any more news? Um, yes. Um, the the Acolyte? Yeah, the it's a Disney um, Star Disney Wars Star show. Disney Star Wars? The I guy, saw. the lead guy from Squid Games got cast. I saw that. It doesn't do anything. For I me. I don't even know what it's about. Like I tried to Google it to see if we mm-hmm. know anything about what it even means, and we don't. I, I don't. I mean, so, there are my he was really good at Squid is, Games. The issue is, is that my Star Wars vocabulary begins and ends with the movies because I've, I've the books. Been able to, I had I had friends like uh, Sydney from church. Yeah. She loved the, the books, books and would like talk oh, well, to me about them, but I I never got I never read them. Or the cartoons. See, there's so much they're drawing from the cartoons. And yeah, I just especially for Mando. And a lot of people love the cartoons. It's the same way with anime. I just can't, you know, I just don't have time to sit you and like watch some it. animes. Well, yeah, but I mean it's yeah, I guess so. But it's just not something I choose to do. Yeah. You know? Okay. What else you got? That's all. Okay, so I've got one more piece of news, but I want to okay. I want to wrap it into the binging s- segment. Okay, I'm ready. So I watched I the first episode up. of The Rings. The I also watched it. I watched the first two. Yeah, you watched the first two. So I love. I really that at the, the beginning of the first sh- episode, I was a little hesitant. Um, I didn't much. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this, and blah blah blah. And then um, I turned it back on because I turned it off. I turned it back on. <laughs> We're notorious and, for that. And I really enjoyed it. Okay. Really enjoyed it. Although I must say that my favorite characters in it are uh, the elf and human. The lady who has a child. Yep. And Them the too. elf that... And from the first episode, you could tell really... really he has, they he likes they like each other. Yes. So those are my favorite. My I think I, that kid. I, a, I think that kid is bad news. I think her kid is gonna stumble yeah, into look, something. I think he had like a Morgor, Mordor, like a Morgoth blade or something. I, yeah, I thought he had. Yeah. But um, so my biggest issue I had with it was looking at the guy who plays Elrond. Okay, is that supposed to be like Elrond? The, I, that's what Weaving. I thought. Why is his hair so short? Well, and why is this? I did, he just I his jaw is very jolly. Very, yes. And it was hard for me to cast aside the fact that Hugo Weaving has been Elrond forever. Yeah, and Hugo Weaving Weaving is Elrond. <laughs> and I, I get it that the girl playing Galadriel is different, mm. and that wasn't a big an issue for me as the guy playing Elrond. <laughs> it's the I don't hair. Know why. I think it's the hair. I think so. I don't know. I think his hair is not very long. Mm. And he's so weird in this. He's like a politician. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't like it. Well, the thing that I, so <laughs> you know, you've read the books. I haven't read the books. All I've read is. Which is why I've got to go back and read the Silmarillion again. That's what, well, here's the thing. They don't have access to the Silmarillion. Well, they, they meant, they allude to the fact when the two trees are blown up. Drevin texted, I'll be quiet. Drevin did not like this at all, Dad. Drevin has yeah. a lot of opinions about it. <clears throat> well, uh, but anyway, 
Here's the biggest issue on the interweb right now. Okay, I don't know if you know about me. this. There's a lot of trolls going on about, and I'm not talking cave trolls or ice troll, which I thought was pretty good. The special effects, but I love the, I love the thing when they fight the ice troll, when the guy lays his sword down and she runs up his sword and jumps on. That was really cool. There's a lot of stuff about uh, the, I don't know how to say it, that some fans are like, well, all these characters are supposed to be white. So it's like racism in Middle Earth, basically, is what it's all about. Yeah. And and um, I was like, that doesn't make a lick of sense, you know? My favorite character, oh, I don't know if this is a spoiler or not. Well, go ahead and just say it, because I'm going to watch the second one. My go. favorite character is the wife of the dwarf prince. Okay, I haven't seen any dwarfs yet. Okay. They weren't in the first episode. They, they go to, they go to gotcha. um, me, farts. The, the speak friend and enter. Moria. They go to Moria. Gotcha. Um, okay. And the, the dwarf. Belloc. Belloc. Yeah. That's what I said that. We, they, were, they walked uh -huh. up and I was like, Belloc. Did they <laughs> say it? No. No. But El, yeah, I don't know. I, okay. I, so, I, I don't know. I don't it, know about it. Well, my whole entire thing about the whole entire, it's just like absolutely crazy that everybody thinks that everybody should be white in this show. Mm. That's ridiculous. And the cool thing is, is that Elijah Wood and the, the guy that played, Mary, two guys that played uh, Billy Donegan and- Marion Pippen. I can't remember that. Marion Pippen. So they've got this thing out that has all these elf ears, dwarf ears, and all these ears. It's different ears of different color. And in, and in Elvish, it says, all are welcome here. That's sweet. And it is, I want to buy one of the shirts for 22 bucks. Okay. Get one. So That's really sweet. Available. You can look that up, but it's to, you know, basically it's to stop racism. But I just couldn't believe that they actually, the, the crew put, put out a Twitter. They responded Man. to all this via Twitter. I didn't even know what was going on. I, mean, I um, I, I've, I mean, I think I've seen some really of good. that online. I am glad for every person to be a part of it. Like I don't, I don't care. My favorite character in it so far is uh, is a black character. She's the coolest person, and she's the, the coolest person in it because she's the, the coolest deal. person in it. What, um, how is it? I mean, Tolkien is. I mean, you basically have four different races that come together yeah. to defeat the evil. Evil. Uh, yeah. I don't know where racism is in all of that. It doesn't exist yeah. in Tolkien's life. But anyway, so yes, I watched that. I think the thing that I'm most confused about is Galadriel being like a fighter lady. Yeah, I think that's going to, yeah. Like that's that's I, the thing that, like it felt, it didn't, like the thing that I love about her character is how, mm -hmm. like again, I, I know mostly about the movies. Um, right. I Which by the way, I'm in the middle of the last one. I love that. Um, I... What I loved about her character in the movies was that she, like, you could tell that she was powerful, yes. and, but she wasn't going to fight you. Okay. She doesn't have the ring yet. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that mellows her out. Like the, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know what it was. And but they I catch Sauron eventually because he's the necromancer that they can find to the, the, you know, we know that that ends up happening because he gets the necromancer in the Hobbit, who's confined to the the woods. Yeah, is is Sauron? Yeah, is Sauron? So I, so, Dad, I don't know. I well, think I think keep watching it. It's I'm gonna keep stuff watching. gets interesting in the second episode. Okay, and good. I've I have questions and I have suspicions. Right. Well, we'll talk about them. And I am. I don't know. The thing that uh, the thing that I told Trevin is it feels very much to me, at least. Again, my frame of reference is is growing up on the movies and mm -hmm. reading the reading the book The Hobbit. Is it felt like how you felt about Foundation that it's a very good high fantasy TV show, but it doesn't feel in the same vein as what I know to be Lord of the Rings. I know, but here's the deal: I can't wait for more Foundation. <laughs> I mean, I cannot wait. But yeah, but it's, it's, season. I'm really enjoying the this, TV show. This show's okay, but it's not something that I would like, oh man, when's it? Because when the foundation comes out, I'm on it. I mean, you know what I mean? Does that make yeah. sense to you? It does make does sense. Does that comparison make sense? Yeah, it's a good comparison. Okay. So have you watched anything else? I've got more to talk about. about I have more to talk about as well. Um, this is our binging section. 
Game of Thrones still. Oh, are you watching the old one or are you watching the new the one? The old one. Gotcha. The old one. I'm season two at this point. Which is for grownups. Which is for grownups. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say that the Lord of the Rings is uh, 13, PG-13 type. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah. Like, okay. same as the movies. Like, yeah. Yeah, same as the movies. Yeah. Like, watch it and see if you're okay with your kid right. having but those types of comp- yeah. Game of Thrones is not. Nope. Um, okay. Death Note. Still oh, watching still, Death Note. Still watching Death Note. Okay. It is spooky. It is not, for me, it is not an epi- a TV show that I can binge gotcha. um, because there is... Um, the character is just the main character is just really bad. He's I just gotcha. a really bad guy. Yeah, and that's not true. I kind of want him to win, and so I feel oh. very bad about myself. That, oh, I got you. You finish and you go. I got to take a shower. I'm like, oh, I true. can't watch anymore. <laughs> cool. Um, and then Spider Man, and I'm trying to think. Like, really, I've just been trying to catch up on Wormwood episodes. I'm really behind on Worm Life. Uh, it is a TV. It's a YouTube. Like short form documentary from this woodworking company that I follow in yes, uh, that makes gaming board that gaming makes gaming and like. supplies and things like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, Trevin's right. Gravity Falls. I've been All watching right. a lot of Gravity Falls as well because it is September. So apparently, in September we watch Gravity Falls, and in October we watch uh, Over the Garden Wall. That's something else. That's I'm hilarious. Well, it's you watching that. You telling me you're already watching. Twilight? That's I know. What that is. And then you go to, right. So I watched an entire documentary. I think it was like six or seven episodes on Monty Python. No way. It's on Netflix. That's so and fun. What is it? A, I don't know. It's a Monty Python documentary. I what don't is know it, what called? it was called? I don't know. Monty <laughs> Python, the documentary. I don't know what Monty it's called. Monty Python, the documentary. I don't I'll remember. Google it. I have to look it up. It's on Netflix. And it was really, really good. A lot of times these documentaries, you can, I mean, they, it was the original cast, of course, minus um, uh, Graham, who passed away. Norton. Just no kidding. One, Graham Norton. I can't remember what his, anyway, he, he died. And he did have his partner. His partner did, was interviewed and friends and all these. It was amazing because the good thing was is that they, they, they just didn't lie. You know, they were like, oh, yeah, I couldn't stand him. I mean, uh, when we first truth. met, there you go, almost the truth. And, of course, it's, it's infirmature because there is nudity because there was nudity in the – and they say cuss words because they said cuss words in the thing. But um, I mean, yeah, was, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. <laughs> it was great. I mean, I learned so much stuff about Monty Python. And they and you really are, like Monty Python. But they are still friends. That's so sweet. I mean – and the thing about it was like, like they would be like, I didn't like him doing this. And he goes, yeah, he probably didn't like me doing that. You know, they were like, they knew, you know, and, um, and they had such high praise for each other. And like, this person is the best at this. This person's the best at that. You know, we had two directors here we shouldn't have. That was a complete mistake. So we didn't do it the next time. And it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. Um, I also, I, I'm enjoying She-Hulk. Are you? Okay, I still haven't watched it. Okay, it um I haven't watched the new episode that just dropped, but I, I there are some people that aren't really liking it. Mm-hmm. And they're like the demasculation, demasculinization of the superheroes or whatever, mm. you know, about how you know the Hulk is and it was just funny is because they actually poke fun at that in the movie. Like they're interviewing people in, in the show, in the show. And they're like, what is that? we got to have a girl hawk now. Okay. And it was like so funny that they made fun of that. But I, the, there, there was something that I saw and it was how, like, why is Bruce Banner the Hulk again? Because he was a, he was a, like a human, uh, in like Shang Chi or something like that. Yeah, he can do both. He can do both. Oh, I haven't watched it, so I well, don't know. And actually, her ability to control, um, in the first episode when she turns into the Hulk, mm. her She Hulk, he takes her to her his little spot where he learned how to become to integrate. Yeah, you all said that they, there was like DBT but, or something like there was like a therapy modality yes, that was yeah, used in it, which I'm was. I'm excited to see. I'm always interested to see how they portray 
mental health and mental health treatments in well it the interesting media. thing about in him studying her blood using her uh blood the way her blood reacts he was able to heal his arm oh that's cool so his arm's fine now he doesn't have he's not in a sling anymore. sick good so, for and him Emil Blonsky character is hilarious it's which one what the abomination oh the yes villain. Yeah, and Wong is like, okay, you know you broke a guy out from prison, right? You know that's illegal. And he goes, I have to go. And he walks through the thing and leaves. So, yeah. But I know why they're doing this. They're getting the abomination out. They're going to create a Thunderbolts movie or TV show. Which is Thunderbolt. Is that the – is no, I'm thinking wrong. I'm thinking the guy who doesn't talk. That's Deadbolt. Deadpool? No, the guy you the guy you can't Black talk. Bolt. Black Bolt. Okay. No, he's an inhuman. Okay. So in I was going to say I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. <laughs> I tell you what, are we done talking about this? Yeah, sure. Well, let's are move you, into comics. Let's comics. Okay. What's a pull list, Dad? Or do you want well, me to pull, say it? Go ahead. You tell it. Okay. So a pull list for those of you sweet, sweet friends who don't know what that is. Um, our dear sweet big pops is a collector of comics, and so what he does what. Just wait till you hear. I got to tell you about this conversation oh. Bob and I had today about comics collecting. Oh, no. Keep going. Okay, so dad is a collector of comics. What he does um, is he collects a bunch of different comics. Um, and when he's collecting something that is being released, uh, what he does is he gives a pull list to um, the local the proprietor of his local comic book shop, which is a list of all of the things he's collecting so that they will pull that from their inventory and save it for him so that he can have what he's collecting um, That's waiting That's a long way him. to say that. Yes. What? That's a lot of words. What he's... I have a lot of words, Dad. Go. You use your words. I you will. You use your words greatly. Watch me. Magnanimously. All of fantastically. them. Fantastically. I saw a thing Please where it was two, two dads who said they're... They were doing dad jokes at each other. And the one guy is like, um, I stole my wife's thesaurus. She was livid, angry, <laughs> mad, irate. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good just one, wasn't it? Just going. Um, yeah, anyway. Dad is going to share with us uh, five or six, six comics. He's going to share with us. No, five. You changed five. it. He's going to share yeah. with us a one from DC, one from Marvel, one from an independent, um, like and Aftershock, IDW, Image, Boom Studios. Um, he's going to share with us his new number one. So if you're interested in going out and collecting comics, you could go out and buy this new number one that's out on the shelves. That way mm-hmm. you can start collecting if that's something that you're interested in. And he's going to share with us his book of the week. Book of the week. Yeah. So I wanted us to dump right into this because we were talking about the Thunderbolts. So Thunderbolts, okay. um, if you remember, the general who was after Tony, one of the Sokovian Accords, was after the Hulk. His name was Thunderbolt Ross was his name. And is, literally that, the, they, is that Martin Freeman? No. it's um, He just passed away. The guy just passed away this year. I don't know. Um, and I knew his name. And to you asked me what his name because he stars in one of your mom's favorite movies called The Doctor which is a great movie. But anyway, he was also in The Big Chill. Great actor. Any, so the Thunderbolt Ross, what they did in the comics was they took villains and the villains were like, hey, I know how we can take over the world. We'll pretend we're good guys. We'll put on, we'll, we'll have different names. We'll change our names, which is what they did. And they were called the Thunderbolts and they were put together by Thunderbolt Ross. That's silly. So, the villains became good guys, but the problem that happened was is that the villains liked being good guys. They didn't want to be bad. So anyway, Suicide what Marvel is, is yeah, pretty much. So what Marvel is doing is they're prepping for a Thunderbolts movie. Okay. And a matter of fact, at the end of the Captain America TV show, when U.S. Agent Johnny Walker is approached by Louise Dreyfus, what's her face from Seinfeld. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. She's putting together a team. And she she also, that her character also pops up at the end of Black Widow. Yes. Black Widow's sister. So they're going to, here you go. You're going to have the Abomination, U.S. Agent, White Widow, whatever villain. There's more villains that aren't dead. Is White Widow Baron's, a villain? Bar, Bar, Baron Zemo. I mean, all of these 
villains are going to be in this new team. It's going to hmm. be a team of villains. You just wait. I say that to say this. Marvel put out Thunderbolts. They started the show. The, they started the comic book again. They getting it out there. Yeah, and they do this all the time. They're like, matter of fact, they're putting out a sub a Submariner comic book because he's going to be in the Did you Wakanda. see the Wakanda Forever yeah. trailer? Yeah. So that's what they do. They do this all the it's, time. It's, it's Namor, right? Yeah, Prince Namor. Because mm-hmm. uh, we were watching it because they, they had a trailer for it before Spider-Man. And I was like, it's Namor! Like I was screaming about it. Yeah. He yeah, feels so, very he feels very Jason Momoa adjacent. They're changing his um they're changing his uh Am I right? origin. Yeah. Well, you just say that because Jason Momoa's character is Aquaman and is under Well yeah. He's got like tattoos and he's stuff revealed, too. Though, the new comic book coming out is set like 40, 50 years in the future when it, almost all of the world is underwater because of the melted polar ice oh, caps. No. And, Did you see that there was like Prince like a devastating polar ice cap the size of florida that's like broken off of antarctica no i didn't well that's why prince namor is now ruler of almost all of the earth because right it's on. all underwater does he teach so, us how to breathe i don't think so okay well well then we'll- anyway those i'm just saying that to, Great. to tell you that so um let's just dive in okay so these books are going to span a couple weeks because i love that we haven't met in a couple weeks so my dc book of the week literally just came out this week because I got my comics and read some, and it's Poison Ivy issue four. You are loving Poison Ivy. This book is the, the best villain book. It's a great Poison Ivy story. It'll probably go down if it ends well, because it's just a five issue run. If it ends well, it'll probably go down as one of my top ten of the year. Really? Okay, yeah, I love really, knowing that. Actually, actually, three a bunch of these are some of my faves of the year. So this is issue four. Poison Ivy is still trying to infect the whole entire world with this toxic thing that Mm. she can just let off. So what she does is she goes to work in like an Amazon packing plant where they ship out because that way she can infect all the boxes and they go out all over the world. But there is a bad manager who is like creepy bad. Oh, it's like like, doing is like is like making eyeballs at her. Well, not at her, but other people who are, they can't afford to lose their job and blah, blah, blah. Ooh. Well, Poison, he's, you could tell he's like being inappropriate with one of the ladies that works there. Nope. And Poison Ivy says, I'll be right back. I'll take, I got to take care of something. I'll take care of this. And she basically, you know, puts the kibosh on him, blah, blah, blah. And um, she comes back and she goes, he'll never bother you again. And that girl's like, yes, and kisses her. And then it's the, and it's like the first time that she's felt loved human yeah. again since she left Harley. Yeah. So she's like, you want to leave this place? So basically they leave and Aww. have a little, but at the end, she felt human. Human again. So there's one issue left, and it's the green man is coming for her. I don't know if that's Swamp Thing or what. But we're going to find out. No, but know. I. She's tell like, us, I can't, tell us when you know. Tell us who the I green man is. I, I. She's having a change of thought. She's having a change of mm. heart. You know. So. This Do you know what would be a, sick? What a poison! Like I'm sorry. It's because I'm staring behind you, and you have the Green Lantern piece mm-hmm. out there. The poison ivy piece. An all green poison ivy. I want to. I know it would be cool, but so it'd be swamp sick. Thing. I've oh, Swamp ones. Thing. I got a thousand ones I want to do. Swamp Thing and, art is literally the prettiest. Yeah. Okay, so that was my DC. My uh, in, independent book of the week is from Image, and it is issue five of Twig. <gasps> Trevin just got issue five of Twig. And that's the end. So Twig is over. So if you want, I'm assuming a trade will be coming out soon. I do. I want them. Twig is beautiful. This is an all ages book that you want a book you can read with your kids and you can look at and love and enjoy. It has a really good twist at the end. (gasps) So Twig is going out, you know, he's got this huge thing he has to do to save the world. Yeah. You think that's what he's doing. Oh, is he trying to Yes and no. End the world. Can I tell you? Can I tell you what he's doing? Tell me. Let's see. Is is Trevin listening? He's not. He's gone. Well, so he gets the thing he's supposed to get yeah. just like whatever he filled up it. and he he puts it where it's supposed to be 
But what he's doing is for there's a hero who comes by that needs this to defeat the evil. He's basically the person that sets up the superhero. You don't get to see that. The hero comes, gets what he gets, gets the energy from it, and off he goes. And that's the end. So that's all he was supposed to do was to do his part Dang. to prepare. It, the art in it is That's so beautiful. cute. The, the, the characters that are created in here are so imaginative the story is so sweet um and one cool thing is that remember his dad was the one who was supposed to do this before and his mom would always cook this thing when his dad came home mm. so he cooked it he made it because that's what he always wanted to be was a chef so he cooked it before they went out on the final leg it, it's just so good yeah. he looks so cute and he's small and blue These are all my feel-good books this week because um, my my book, my Marvel book is She-Hulk issue six, which I'm loving She-Hulk. I, I hate that I'm picking the same books, but so this is Rainbow Royale's book. Yes, I like and, Rainbow. Um, She's a good writer. Listen, Hannah, you would love this book. Well, I like Rainbow Royale. I like her so stuff. One of her she, books, Fan uh, Fangirl, is one of my was one of my favorite young adult books that I read. I bought that book actually for my Kindle. So. She Hawk is having a uh, is out with Patsy Walker, who many people may remember from the uh, Jessica Jones show. Her character's named Hellcat. Hellcat's been really big in um, in. Uh, I don't remember. I was thinking really in, hard, and I can't remember. But she's been uh, really big in the Iron Man, and they meet for uh, it's I I it's eat cake in fancy dresses Wednesdays. So they wear fancy me. dresses. It's me. It's me. I know. I thought Hannah would love that. It's me. E.K. You, you, you wear fancy dresses. Dresses. Yes. Wednesday. That's what it is. It's so funny. I because, like uh, I've done that. Except I don't do it every Wednesday. It's just on special occasions. And then I just go to a tea party. She, um, she comes back <laughs> to her law firm where, her, where the person she's working for doesn't dresses. want any superhero stuff at all. Okay. But, but Nightcrawler is waiting for her. Ayo. And he's like, um, we'd like My you main to, man. Uh, we'd, we'd, I need your help. We need you to help us with this, this, and this. And she goes, wait, what are you talking about? The entire mutant nation. We want to hire you as a retainer to handle all, everything that we have, all of our Sick. disputes. Like, because they now. She would own. never be done with work. Exactly. And it, she and will so work her for boss forever. was angry and then like, yes, so much money. But it was funny. Kurt was like, did you, were you out? Were you out for eating uh, uh, eat cakes on Fancy Dress Wednesday? And she's like, "What? <laughs> yeah, how do you know?" And she goes, "I think he said well, Cyclops never stops talking about it. Plus, you are wearing a dress, <laughs> and you do have cake, or something like that." So it's so cute. But the at the end of the book, um, at the end of this story, she's been helping a character named uh, Jack of Hearts because he didn't know who he is, why he's Aww. lost his powers, Poor and the guy. last time. He touched her ages ago. It, it like sapped her. It almost killed her because of the gamma radiation. Is he? Uh, so he kept. He kept checking. He's lost his powers. He doesn't know why. He doesn't know where he came from. He doesn't have any memory. But he keeps checking her gamma. He's got a little thing to check her. Hey, can we check your thing? Can we check your thing? Check your gamma radiation. She goes. I'm fine. You are okay. You're not hurting me. You know. Blah blah blah. And then he he touches her face. Next thing you know, they're making out. So, it yeah. It's such a sweet book. But anyway. I, Dad, Rainbow Royale mm -hmm. is such a fun writer. Well. I like her stuff. Good, it's I, cool. I, like I think that that's cool that they're getting, I don't know. I think that it's, I think that it's cool that a lady is writing a book about a lady. And I think that it's cool that it is a novelist. It makes me think that the well, story should be good. And if the story's not good, it, then maybe don't. That's probably why it seems like it's taking a while. Because she's like a novelist. We are, now, we are six issues in, and I, I mean, it's like, wow, this story could go on forever. Well, she's a novelist. Yeah. Her books are thick boys, too. But it's Her good. books are and like the art is really good. I'm, I'm loving the story. I love the character. She Hawk oh, is great in this. Yay! So, um, my, okay. Oh, you know what? I had a book that I wanted to talk about, but I'll talk about it later when I get a new issue of it. Anyway, so my new number one. Yes. Is from Boom Studios. Boom Studios. It is Wind, W-Y-N-D. It back. Throne in the Sky. It back. Issue one. 
Boom Studios. So this is um, follows up on the wind. Wind, The first 10 W-Y-N-D. The throne in the sky. Aww. And this follows up with wind. They are trying to keep him safe. There is getting ready to be a big war between the I still haven't read this book, Dad. We... I got something to say. Okay, so first of all, pick this up. It just started again. Now, this is what happened. I, for everyone out there listening in the interwebs, if you have a local library... (gasps) This is why you told me that. Okay, I'm... Go get you. you a library card. And if you don't have a library card, then you should, because man, what great access to resources that you can have with a library card. If you have, if you like comic books, through my local library, they have a digital library, basically. Mm. And they, it's through an app called Hoopla. And it limits me. It not only does it have, it's for books, movies, music, but they have comics. And I'm talking... Like, you name it, it's on there. I was so amazed. I down, it limits me to, I believe, 10 downloads a month. And once something is downloaded to my app, it lasts there for 21 days. But right now, after I finished watching the Sandman, I decided I'd like to read the Sandman comics. So I found the Sandman trade, 580 pages, the first 16 issues, downloaded it for free. And I can read it on my iPad. And not only that. Will the, it? Is is it? Can I do it on Kindle? I don't know. If there's a Hoopla app on the Kindle, I'm sure I you could. You could do it on your phone. I mean, you could do it. Usagi Ujimbo. I'm looking at it. And all of these are Usagi Ujimbo. On the Hoopla app? Yeah. There is. I'm telling you, it's on there. Paper like Girls. Homesick Pilots. All of Homesick Pilots. Watchmen. Like Frank Miller's Sin in the City. You like Paper Girls? I've never, I've, I've seen like they ads for it new, and stuff like that. I really would a, like a to comic, read it, I think. A new comic just started about two weeks ago. El Diablo. So, oh, that was a Western from ages ago. But anyway. Oh, I lied. Oh, it's El Defo. Oh, I don't know I just, know I can't means. read. Well, that's funny. You're in a library app and can't read. So the funny thing was, I was telling your mom that we went for a walk and I was like, this is amazing. It has so many books that you can read. And it's like, just not old ones, but new ones. And she was like, does that mean that you don't need to buy as many comic books anymore? And I didn't know how to respond. Uh Oh, I was like, I was like, there is a thing where people say you can wait for the trade. And then there are people say you can't wait for the trade. For those of you don't know, a trade is a trade paperback or a trade is when they compile so many issues together Mm. and then you can read them. So, yeah. Anyway, if it's I guarantee you that as soon as the trade comes out, I bet you wind is on there. I bet you the whole thing. I I want I will look it up on my app. So and then maybe that's how we do on my app. Okay, right on. Okay. So my book of the week. Book of the week. It's the book of the week. <clears throat> so I ordered this book about seven or eight months ago. Ordered it, huh? Yes. Ordered it, say. I did. It was well, they only made they made a bunch of this book, but they only made three thousand of this where it is in a dust cover. <gasps> it it's is beautiful. Fan- it is gorgeous. It is fantastic for full circle. So what I bought was 40 bucks, but this bad boy right here is just $24.95. I say just, but it is a hardback and you can buy this. Um, Okay. For those of you who have never listened to this podcast before in your entire life, and this is your first time here and you are what, and you were listening and not watching, uh, our dear papa is a fantastic four fanboy. At 100%. He Not only that. He loves Fantastic Four. One of my favorite artists is Alex Ross. <laughs> is it, is it by Alex Ross? It's by Alex Ross. Woo! But he learned or used a completely different art style. No way. What, what's art style? It's not painting, which is normally how he does it. Is it it's, digital? It's not digital, but it's like, um, I don't know. There's, there's some. Is it Procreate? Like, what is it? I don't oh, well, know. As if they use Procreate. I don't even know what Procreate is. I know they what don't. Procreate is, but then I know what that is, but then what he's talking about. But like the art in it is so trippy. It's very. It is trippy. 
That is it is trippy. It's called for full circle because it takes an original story from like issue 41 of the Fantastic Four, which was written by Stan Lee and drawn Aww. by Jack Kirby, which is why there's a lot of and it takes that and character from that just disappeared out of when they left and brings back and <gasps> resolves that with a new story. That's so cool. So it's full circle. It is gorgeous. Not only that, but mine came with a, I don't want to take it out, but it came with a little something, something, <gasps> a little fantastic four thing in there. A little print. Do you want to get that framed? I might one day. So this is gorgeous. Fantastic four. It, the art, it just get it for the art alone. It is amazing. That's so um, fun. Yeah. So yeah, they only made three three thousand of these in the dust cover thing. That's um, sick, through, Dad. But there is um, you can you can buy the other one on Amazon. Matter of fact, Hector's not watching. I bought one for Hector and mailed it to his house. That's so sweet. So your anyway, friendship is sweet. So we've been going on for a little while. But we okay. need to get going. Oh, it's so, fifty one. I, I was like, I really have to go to the bathroom. Why do I have to go to the bathroom so bad? <laughs> Let's talk about. No, I'm pray. serious. Can I can I go to the bathroom really fast? Yes, you're gonna pause this and you redo this. I That's hilarious. Well, you could just talk. I will talk in dead silence. Don't okay. I'm, no, no, I'll no, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. No, no, I'll go, be fine. Go. I'll, be, I'll talk. Who's are you a, sure? T- yeah. Now that now that somebody's watching us. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. One hundred and thirty-five. One hundred and thirty-six. One hundred and thirty-seven. Are you, have you been counting this entire no, I'm just time? I made, that, I made that whole thing up. Okay. okay. Let's stop and then we'll Wait. start again. Okay. All right. Hannah. Yes. Let's talk about the movie Prey. Okay. Before we do that. Yes. Can I say one thing about Predator? Yes. So we watched Predator. Hannah had never seen Predator before. So I asked Hannah to watch Predator. So she would get some um, background before we talked about the movie Prey. So go ahead. Something that I very appreciated about that movie that now looking at movies that are get made to the now, job, butter. <laughs> you say that all the time too. So I'm glad to know where that comes from. <laughs> I know the reason that I, okay, stop, pause, rewind. Okay. So the, something that I have noticed like a pattern of in like older movies that we've watched, like alien, things like that, mm-hmm. like alien predator, yeah. things like that. Um, they are more masterful at building suspense and making the unknown feel scary rather than movies now where there are aliens and things like that. They show it to you immediately because here, look oh. at this cool technology that we have. So here it the is. Predator. You didn't see it till we the didn't end see of it till the, the very, very end. And I was terrified. I was jumping up and down in my seat. I was screaming. I was the, all the lights were on like, and I was cross stitching and I had to put it down and pick it up and put it down. Like it was <laughs> clicking ooh, noises and everything. Spooky. It was spooky. And then watching prey, I was like, Oh, well th- there it is. Easy peasy right there. There he is. Yeah. But Which, they hold it off a little bit. They hold it off a little bit, but like not but really. Everybody knows it's there already. I mean, the I, cat's out but of the I mean, I get that. And I just, I thought that was, are you ready? Here's something that I love because okay, I saw Predator in the theater. You did not. That's so cool. Yes. I also saw another movie that summer in the theater called Harry and the Hendersons, which is about um, a family accidentally hits a Bigfoot when they're <laughs> on like a picnic. That's and funny. Then, and they think he's dead. They he's bring not. him back to the house. No, he's alive, but he's huge. And then how it, do they bring him back to the to be- house? They thought he was dead, I guess. I don't know. But what happens is, is that there's a Bigfoot hunter who wants to capture the Bigfoots. And, but they can't, you know, you can never, you don't, they can never prove that there's a Bigfoot. So there's a, and it was like a family comedy, basically. It was fun. Mm. And at the end, uh, the Bigfoot is reunited with his, you know, you think he's the only one and he goes into the woods and he looks to say goodbye. And then like the trees turn around and it's like other big other this family and little little big feet or whatever and the bigfoot hunter then becomes a good guy you know it's like oh that's so sweet i'm so glad blah 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 the thing is the guy who played harry uh, the bigfoot yeah is the same guy that played the predator is the same so guy who this, played the predator in this one too no he passed away oh, he was young sad. but in the original predator movie that big huge mean dude that's so cool is the sweetheart 
in Harry and the Henderson because he was such a I love. And it, they came out the same summer. Chewbacca. It was just so funny. That's what makes me think of. It does, yeah. Makes me think he of Chewbacca. He died. He got AIDS through a blood transfusion and died. Oh, man. That's so sad. But anyway, sad. so yes, Predator. So we saw Prey. What yes, did you think I watched, of it? Prey I watched Predator was the first, number one and then I watched Prey. movie ever for Hulu. Okay. Yeah. It was visually stunning. Yeah. It was, was visually it? it was visually stunning. I Was it realistic? No, I, no. Why not? You don't well, think an American a, Indian could kill a sci- the predator? Well, Did you catch that they there was a line? She in killed. Prey she killed it with his. I think. I think not with like arrows and like things like that. But she but killed she, him with her smarts. So yes, with his with his own weapon. I think. I think they're yeah. But I mean, it's an alien movie, Dad. Like that was, there was a, nothing about that. There was a realistic. line that they used in the original. Yes, that they it can used bleed. It. If it can bleed, if, it can die. If it, we can if it can bleed, we can kill it. Okay, yes. sorry, I said it wrong. Yes, I was like, oh, I know that. I well, that. you had, you had spoiled me for it. Oh, you were I like, did. Hannah, there's this line in it, and you're gonna hear it in the Predator, and then you're gonna hear it in Prey because the brother oh, says yeah. it too. And I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm looking out for it, and he did. I know. Oh, I was sad that. Oh, spoilers! Are we gonna spoil this movie? Sure. I mean, it's I was, been out for so, how long? I was so sad been that the brother while. died. I know. That I made, was too. He loves. He loved his sister very well. I knew there's a scene in it where there are a bunch of buffaloes that were skinned, and I know they were trying to make you think that oh the predator did this, but you knew right away the predator didn't do that. You I knew thought, that it was I thought that the predator did it for serious. Yeah, I leaned oh, I, I leaned over to Trevor and was like, "It's a predator." It wasn't. And then, but no, because you saw the guy's cigar it was down trappers. by the thing. Yeah, it was just people skinning them for their hides. It was trappers. They were the French, weren't the they? The French. Indeed. Yeah. They spoke French. I, I, w- I could tell what some of the French that they were saying was. Nice. Because we had the subtitles on, and it's easier for me to read French than to speak it or hear it. I, I like the fact that um, she realizes that they can't see the people when their blood, when their body temperature drops. I, I she, yeah, the, the cold, the medicine where the flower that makes you cold, I was like, that's going to come back. That's going to come back. It did. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, uh, a friend of mine who watched it was like, so like, how deep is that quicksand? It wasn't very deep. It wasn't very deep, man. But for her, it was deep. She's smaller than him. I said that too. I said, that guy's got a good two and a half, two feet on her. Two two plus feet on him, man. I liked her doggy. Yes, I loved the dog too. Her doggy was so cute. Mm. And how she basically becomes. I liked that um, as a woman, she could still be the head hunter. Yeah. Not a headhunter, but the hunter. The headhunter. She's going to go out and find people to fill that job. That's, no. Isn't that what headhunters do? Headhunters were like a, they would cut people's heads off and then uh, shrink their heads. Dad. That's what, I, that's what they all, growing up, that's what we knew headhunters I thought, were. I thought headhunters were people that like were searching for like. They are now. Yes. But do you know how, uh-huh. if you remember, Beetle, remember Beetlejuice where there's that guy and he shrinks the people's Ooh. heads? Yeah. That's, yeah. That's Dad. Ugh. I know. I so, I like that mm. she that she made like a like a boomerang axe. Oh, she threw it, but had a it wasn't had a, a string on it. Had a string on it and would pull it back and was using it like that. Yeah, yeah, that was sort of like we watched that in some movie. Oh, boomerang I know axe. we watched it in Shang Chi. The sister had one of those yes. like knives on that on a on a ribbon that, on a ribbon. So it was very similar to that. Um, yeah, I. I liked the movie. I thought it was really good. I enjoyed I mean, it. As far as I liked the it. Predator movie goes, I don't know. It was beautiful. It was very good. Yeah. Um, I like the character. I liked her. It's a little bit unrealistic, the fact that that young girl's going to well, I mean, ninjify. I mean, like, the, well, they, she basically, the whole entire, the, 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 um, the people I think in she's the hunting smart. group. Yeah, but the people in the hunting group—they were like ninjas almost. Yeah, you know, fighters. I that that was a little bit too much, but they didn't last long. Oh, it made me so sad. It was very bloody. Yeah, this is for it's, this is this it's, is it's, it's rated R. I think it's for adults. But so is Predator, the original Predator. I didn't realize. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I'm trying. Yeah, I was trying to think about what I was trying to say. When I was watching Predator, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I'd never, like, I'd never watched a trailer. I'd never watched anything like that. And 
I don't know. I liked it. I like the original. Yeah. I yeah. like I really I'd watch that movie. It again. was very macho. You Ooh, know what I mean? Macho. It was very testosterone filled. The fun. only fem- the only female in it was like um you know just It's an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie from the 80s, dad. You're right. Oh, well, listen, here's fun something funny to tell you about that movie. Okay. So so Jesse the Body Ventura, which is the one who held the big huge gun. Yes. He was governor of Minnesota. The governators. No, yeah, there were the two governators. But anyway, so he was also a wrestler. You know, big time wrestling, like fought Hulk Hogan and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But when they were working out, they would com- they would compare their bicep sizes. <laughs> and what what Jesse the Body Ventura did, this is what Arnold he later told, he would get Arnold's shirt from wardrobe and put his sh- ar- put his arm into Arnold's shirt to see if his arm would fit to see whose arm was the biggest and and Jesse the body said his his uh his shirt is too tight I can't fit it on my biceps are so much bigger than his and then Arnold came out and said oh well that worked and they go what are you talking about he goes I had the wardrobe people put a shirt in that was 3 inches too small for me <laughs> So when they go to measure biceps, his oh, arm is three so inches bigger so than Jesse the body's. He goes, I did that on purpose. <laughs> that is hysterical. That what a That's ridiculous that. thing. Yes, let's measure our biceps well, and this compare. Is, Arnold Schwarzenegger was Mr. Universe for like how many years? A long time. A long time. So, yeah. Anyway, people. But I know, I really, like, I enjoyed both of them. I think if you like... Alien movies, I think Prey is a very interesting take. I'd never seen an alien movie set in 1800s with the main character. I think it was 1719 or something like that. With the the main character being a a Native American female. Like, I'd never seen anything. Like, it was was really cool. Like, the concept was was really really cool. And it was executed well. I enjoyed the movie. Yeah, and I liked the brother and sister dynamic. At it was first, the, you thought they, they're not going to get together. They're not going. They're going to be against one another, but they were. They weren't. Well, I don't think. I think even at the beginning, it wasn't that he was against her. It was that you're not ready. He, yeah, you're this. not ready. Like I'm worried you for hesitated. you. Hesitated. Like I, you hesitated. like I love you. I want you to be safe. Like it was. It was brother stuff. Yeah. Not like I don't think you can do it, but right. we need to make sure that you're safe because mom's going to kill me. Right. Type that of type of thing. But I love the fact that she was the medicine. She's not only is she's the medicine woman and the warrior. That's cool. At the same time. It's and cool. I did see a preview for the warrior queen or whatever. Dude, yeah, with Viola Davis. That looks wicked. I can't wait she to see that. She is going to be gnarly in that, man. Yeah. Woo, so how many, uh, how many uh, dead uh, buffaloes would you give this? No, uh, no let's not do dad, that. Gross. How many boomerang uh, tomahawks would you give it? Boomerang tomahawks? A uh, boomer to- boomer hawk. Four and a half. Tomerang. Four, yeah, I'll give it four and a half tomerangs. Four to four yeah, and a half tomerangs. Right. Whatever that is. Tomahawk boomerang. It's a tomerang, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, folks, thank you for joining us for this little escapade where I neglect to put it on fa- on uh, YouTube. LOL. End roll. Before- End roll. Go hey, ahead, Anna. sweet Say friends. It. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We're glad for you to spend an hour or so time of your life with us. Thank you for inviting us into the little corner of the interweb that you call home. Um, Go get a library card. (laughs) Or perhaps they're listening to this on their way to the library, Dad. Ooh, that's smart. Yeah, as they should. Um, I had a blast when I went. (laughs) Dad, end roll. I saw Drake Gillespie. I love Drake Gillespie. I know. And then uh, one of his friends was also working there, and she um, goes to Comic-Cons, and she sells stuff there. And she helped me get my my, my card. That's sweet. So your library has a lot of anyway. Go a lot ahead. of cool Anymore. peeps in it, yo. Um, our intro music is created by Brockwell Nason. Um, he composed and performed that himself. You can check him out anywhere you listen to music. Um, our art was made by Nate Turner, um, my sweet sweet brother. Thank you for doing that for us, bud. He made that in Woo-hoo. Microsoft Paint. What a talented human. Um, I edit and upload our podcast. Dad sometimes maintains the YouTube website, and uh-huh. we're glad that you hang out with us. That's right. Thank you, folks. Yeah. We're so glad. Hmm. Yeah. Rate and review 17 stars. Uh, 5 million stars. I don't know if it's possible. All of the stars. 
maybe one of these days somebody will listen and they'll go, hey, this is fun. Dad, I'm sorry, the HBO executives, they are listening. Um, No, they're not. Flipping HBO executives. Although you do I can't even have remember ex- how that joke started. You do have the extended uh, of the of all the Lord of the Rings. Blessings. Blessings yeah. for the extended cuts of Lord of the Rings being available the, on a streaming service. Just now to the part where the uh, orcs take the wrapped up uh, Frodo up to the tower. <gasps> Samwise. Yep. Yep. She's that. He's not dead. Anyway. She's you snack. filth. He calls him you filth. That's the best dirty Sam word. Lies. I love him. Word. He's Filth such a good man. Yeah. Anyway, till next time, we will catch, catch you, you on, on the flippity, flippity flop. flop. Never say it together. I think Bye, maybe guys. that time we did. Okay. Bye, friends. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.